Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover RDS blue-green deployment followed by a quick demo. Amazon RDS blue-green deployments help make and test database changes before implementing them in a production environment. RDS blue-green deployment has a blue environment as the current production environment and a green environment as the staging environment. RDS blue-green deployment creates the staging or the green environment that exactly copies the production blue environment. So the green environment is the exact replica in terms of the topology of the production environment and that includes features used by the DB instance including multi-easy deployment, read replicas, storage configuration, DB snapshots, automated backups, performance insights and enhanced monitoring. Green environment or the staging environment always stays in sync with the current blue environment using logical replication. RDSDB instances in the green environment can then be changed without affecting the production workloads. The changes can include upgrade of the major or minor DB engine version, upgrade of underlying file system configuration or change database parameters in the staging environment. Changes can be thoroughly tested first in the green environment and when ready, the environments can then be switched over to promote the green environment to the new production environment. The switchover typically takes under a minute with no data loss and no need for application changes as the endpoint remains the same. Blue-green deployments are currently supported only for RDS, MariaDB, MySQL and PostgreSQL. Let's navigate to the RDS console. Click on the databases. We already have an RDS prod DB created in the free tier with backups enabled. Backups must be enabled for blue-green deployments. Also our MySQL version for the prod DB is currently at 8.0.35. We would create a blue-green deployment with this database as the source where we are going to create a new green or staging environment with an updated version of 8.0.36, a minor upgrade in the MySQL version. Let's select Actions and create Blue-Green Deployment option. You would be taken to the Create Blue-Green Deployment page we would create blue-green deployment for the RDS prod database. The green or the staging environment would be created automatically and would be an exact replica in terms of topology of the blue environment. Let's enter RDS prod blue-green deployment as our blue-green deployment identifier. For the blue-green deployment settings, we will set the engine version to 8.0.36 with the default parameter group. The engine version is slightly different and upgraded from the blue environment. Blue instance class is burstable T3 micro which is fine. We don't need optimized writes on the green database. Leave the storage configuration as default. Let's go ahead and create our blue-green deployment which would automatically create the green or the staging environment. We are brought back to the RDS database pages. You can see the RDS prod DB database which is our blue environment for now. 
the blue green deployment is in the provisioning status and the role is blue green deployment. RDS prod DB green database has now been created which is the exact replica of the blue database including the AZ. The prod DB is marked as blue and the prod green DB is marked as green. Let's wait for the green DB and the blue green deployment to be available. It will take some time for the setup to be completely available depending upon your topology for the current blue environment. The blue green deployment and the green database is now in the available status. Let's check on the blue green deployment configuration. The info message clearly mentions the blue engine version is 8.0.35 and the green instance engine version is 8.0.36 which we intend to do. Blue connectivity and security points to the RDS prod DB while the green connectivity and security points to the RDS prod green DB. The other configuration for the blue and the green would remain the same. The green DB shows the replication state as replicating as the green or the staging environment will always stay in sync with the current production environment using logical replication. Let's also check on the logs and events and we can see lots of events for both green and the blue databases. Let's go ahead and perform a switch over. Go to actions and select switch over. We can go through the switch over summary. Most of the configuration except for the version remain the same. You can also configure the timeout to wait for the switch over to happen. We are good to go ahead and let's initiate the switch over. You can see the status for all three are now in the switch over status. The RDS prod DB has now been renamed to the RDS prod DB old one. The RDS prod green DB has now been renamed to the RDS prod DB. Also the RDS prod DB old one tag now has been changed from blue to old blue and the new RDS prod DB has its tag updated from green to the new blue. The databases are now in the available status and the switch over is now complete. Let's check on the blue green deployment configuration again. The blue connectivity and security is now termed as old blue connectivity and security and the endpoint is updated as well. New blue connectivity and security now points to our previous green or the staging database. If you note the endpoint has been swapped, the original blue endpoint is now assigned to the green database. And this will allow our applications to function without any change to the endpoints. Let's check the logs and events. And it clearly shows the renaming of the databases and the switch over. Once the switch over is successfully tested, we can go ahead and delete the old blue database and the deployment as well. So that's it for the RDS blue green deployment demo where we created a blue green deployment for an existing database and performed a successful switch over. I hope you liked it. Thank you all.
All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.